Hey, Drone Nerds, Andrew here. Let's talk about line of sight, what it means, and how it affects your drone flights. Before we begin, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video, it really helps. In the world of UAVs, a trio of acronyms, VLOS, EV loss and BV loss come up pretty often, but their meanings and implications can sometimes be shrouded in confusion. These abbreviations hold immense meaning for UAV operators, influencing things like mission planning, equipment requirements, and regulatory compliance. VLOS, or visual line of sight, is the fundamental mode where the drone must remain continuously visible to the operator throughout the entire mission. No visual aids like binoculars or FPV goggles are permitted. The operator directly monitors the UAV, ensuring safe navigation and obstacle avoidance. EV loss, or extended visual line of sight, extends the operating range beyond V loss by incorporating one or more trained visual observers. These observers maintain visual contact with the drone and actively communicate observations and alerts to the operator. EV loss operations require not only trained personnel, but also enhanced communication equipment to ensure clear and constant communication during flight. And then we have BV loss, or beyond visual line of sight. This is the most advanced operational mode, where the operator does not maintain constant visual contact with the drone. Instead, the drone either completes its mission autonomously or operates under the supervision of a remote pilot station or ground control. Understanding these distinctions is of paramount importance for several reasons. Identifying the appropriate mode is essential for effective mission planning. Different modes may necessitate specific equipment, human resources or observers, or permits from the aviation authority in the designated area. For instance, if a mission falls within VLOS but happens in a larger area, opting for multiple shorter flights may be more effective than transitioning to EV loss. This consideration becomes pivotal, especially when time and resources are limited. BV loss missions come with additional safety considerations and often require special approvals. Knowing when a mission falls under BV loss ensures compliance with regulations, which can vary from country to country. Determining a precise VLOS distance isn't really about being measured in feet or meters. Instead, it revolves around the ability to maintain visual contact while evaluating the surrounding areas for safe flight. Numerous factors can impact the VLOS distance, including the size of the UAV, its flight speed, weather conditions and time of day, operator's eyesight, and the presence of tall objects in the flight area. However, based on extensive flight operator experience, it's generally recommended not to exceed the distance of 1,640 feet or about 500 meters. Staying within this range ensures both operator awareness and flight safety. Beyond this range, if the drone is obscured, it is no longer considered a VLOS flight. FPV goggles are a popular tool amongst drone operators, and they provide a live feed from the drone's camera. Be that as it may, it does not provide complete situational awareness. We carry all kinds of drone platforms for all kinds of missions. So click the link in the description below to start building your fleet today. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.